They said it was too late, but climate action is proving them wrong. You're watching The Good News Show, episode 96, where we bring you climate action news with a twist of hope and positivity. Did you know mangroves saved the world $855 billion in flood protection? Mangroves are nature's powerful shield, guarding coastal communities from floods, storms and erosion. Instead of relying only on seawalls, a recent study shows that mangroves can be just as effective and they offer extra environmental benefits as well. The study covering 700,000 kilometers of coastline in 121 countries found that the value of mangroves in reducing flood risks is growing as more people and wealth gather near coastal areas. Paris is on a mission to turn half its city into a lush urban forest by 2030. And it's already making big moves. Recently, the city planted 478 trees in a busy square, marking a major step forward. The plan isn't just about greenery. It's about keeping the city cool in summer, managing floods better and cutting carbon emissions. By 2030, Paris aims to have half its land covered with water-friendly surfaces like green roofs, tree-lined streets, parks and gardens. Paris is definitely setting the bar high for cities worldwide in urban greening. Helsinki is building the world's largest heat pump to heat 30,000 homes during winter using only clean energy. Now, this innovative pump works even in freezing temperatures. The city is using a district heating system which efficiently produces heat in one place and sends it to homes through underground pipes. While many cities still rely on fossil fuels for this, Helsinki is switching gears. Currently, half of Finland's heating and cooling energy comes from biomass. But with a goal to become carbon neutral by 2030, Helsinki is making its heating system greener than ever. This year, at least 11 US states have stepped up efforts to tackle PFAs, often called forever chemicals. Now, these forever chemicals are now banned in products like clothes, cookware, cleaning supplies and cosmetics. Some states are also making companies pay for testing and clean up, share if their products contain PFAs and work on safer alternatives. It's a big step to protect people and the planet from these toxic chemicals. The UK's biggest seagrass restoration project has finished after five years and it has successfully restored about 20 acres of seagrass. The project worked to bring back seagrass, which had been damaged and nearly wiped out. Seagrass is amazing because it absorbs carbon dioxide even faster than trees, helping fight climate change naturally. Which story from this episode is your favourite? Tell me in the comments. And don't forget to tune in every Friday at 8pm only on our YouTube channel.